Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. And I'm here today to bring you the review for One Piece episode 829. So, not much going on about this plan. We have Capone in the very beginning of the episode go over the plan again and also go over their escape plan. And it's during this time that Luffy, we find that Luffy is really excited about being the one that has to break the picture. He's also got a plan in store on how he wants to go about doing it. And, you know, he keeps mentioning it here and there during the episode, making you think, hmm. Well, at least it made me think, hmm, what exactly is he going to do when I read this in the manga? So, for the questions for you guys who are anime-only watchers, what do you think he's got in store? So, the rest of the episode is, we flip to the day of the wedding, and we just see what everybody's doing. We see people on different islands celebrating. We find out that uh, Germa can't bring no soldiers with them to the wedding, and we just see different different bits and pieces. We um I think the most important things to come out within this time though is them find we us finding out that no soldiers can come. We see Big Mom wake up only to find only to figure we see Big Mom wake up and we find out that she thinks that her little book doll is just broken and it died but she quickly shakes off where she remembers the wedding and the wedding cake, so she's okay with Brooke not being there right now. I think that scene where we see Sanji come back to his room is filler, because uh, I don't remember it being in the manga. Uh, not bad filler in any sense of the wrong way, it's just something that I know it's being an anime only, um, I mean a manga reader as well. So it did fit within the episode, I personally did fit with um, fit within the episode, and that's something I definitely wouldn't have noticed if I wasn't a manga reader as well. Um, anything else? No, not not really. It's just them really just getting prepared for the wedding and you know things to come next. So like we saw the Vinsmax within there as well. You know they're all dressed, they're ready to go. Uh, Raju's wondering why Sandy didn't try and escape. And it's just all stuff like that really. But just basically them prepping for the wedding, heading towards the wedding, guests arriving, that kind of stuff, you get me, nothing much going on within the episode. There is also the scene with um, Aladdin from the Fisherman Pirates, I mean, Sun Pirates I should say, and Peckham's as well, so we've basically found out that Peckham's knows what's going on right now, he's not happy about this and they've had to tie him up, and we find out that uh, Aladdin and his um and the crew are going to use this opportunity while the wedding store going on to make their escape because we also find out that the reason why Jim B went back on you know trying to leave the big one Paris is because he knew that the amount of years that big mom was going to take from him was going to come out of his crew as well so that's why he went back on his word and he told them Jim B told them that this is the perfect time for you guys to escape so this is when you should escape so another question for you guys that I'm going to ask is do you think Peckham's is going to be able to get free and if he does do you think that um he's going to be able to cause some sort of harm to the Straw Hats Fire Tanks plan uh, so I'll give it a two star rating. As always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.